Hello, welcome to Madden YY channel. Today we are going to discuss the IUPAC nomenclature for alkene. So alkene is an unsaturated hydrocarbon which contains the carbon-carbon double bond as the functional group. So carbon-carbon double bond is made of one sigma bond and one pi bond. So the general formula is CN, H2N and the minimum number of carbon must be 2 and above. So each carbon atom with double bond is sp2 hybridized. So to give the IUPAC nomenclature for alkane, the first step will be to find the parent name. So we will choose the longest carbon chain that contains both carbon atoms of double bond. So for example, if you look at the compound, the longest carbon chain is 5 carbon with a double bond. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our parent name will be pentane. So second step, we need to give numbering to the parent chain. So always give double bond the lower number. So for example, this compound, if you start from this side, your double bond is at carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 and 5. So if you start with from the right, the double bond is at carbon 2 and 3. So the numbering will start from the right. So if the double bond is at the same distance from two ends, so we will begin at the end which is nearer to the first branch. So for example, if we I start from the left, the carbon double bond is on 1, 2, 3, carbon 3 and 4. If I start from the right, the carbon double bond is also on carbon 3 and 4. But from the left, I have my, the left is nearer to my first branch. So my numbering, I will start from the left which give my branch the second, num the second number. And then step number three, we are going to write the name as a single word. So name the parent chain using the first number assigned to the double bond. So means that the position of your double bond must be labelled. So our double bond is at carbon 2, so the parent will be 2 hexin. So remember, you must always have the numbering for the position of the double bond. So 2 hexin. So next, we are going to number the substituents according to their position in the chain and list them alphabetically. So my parent is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's a 6 carbon chain and the numbering will start from my left which gives carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my parent will be 3 hexin and there is a branch at my second carbon so it will be 2 methyl 3 hexin so let's try another example so first we find the longest parent chain so here the longest parent chain will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 so a 6 carbon will be the longest parent chain and next, we're going to give numbering to the parent. So the numbering will start from this side, okay? We'll start from the left, which gives the double bond lower number. So my parent will be 2 hexin, and I have 3 branch here. So I have the methyl group at carbon 2, 3, and 5. So the substituent will be 2, 3, 5, trimethyl and parent is 2 hexin. So my IOPAC name will be 2, 3, 5, trimethyl, 2 hexin. 
so what happens when the compound contains two double bonds? So we will use the di to represent two double bonds. So based on this structure, I have a double bond at my carbon 1 and 3. So the parent will be 1, 3, buta, da, in. So remember, the position of the double bond, you must always mention. So if there are three double bonds, it will become three tri in. How to name the carbon double bond parent? So if it's two carbon, it will become ethene. And three carbon, it will be propene. And four carbon parent with double bond will be butene. So you can see the A and E is replaced with E and E. And how about alkene with two double bonds? So when we have two double bonds, the compound will have the parent name end with diene. So it will become eta diene. And then you have propa diene and buta diene. So when with two double bonds, we will change the NE to diene. So next, we are going to learn how to name the cycloalkenes. So it means like a ring structure with double bonds. So we will number the cycloalkenes so that the double bond will be always labeled as carbon 1 and 2. And our first substituents will have the lowest number possible. So this is my cyclohexane. So I have to give my double bond carbon 1 and 2. Okay, I have to give a carbon double bond as 1 and 2. So, I will put carbon 1 and 2. So, this will give my substituents as has a lower number as 1. So, it will be 1 methyl cyclohexane. So, in a, a double bond in a ring structure, normally, we don't have to write the numbering in the naming. So there's no numbering when we give the name because the carbon-carbon double bond will always be labeled as carbon 1 and 2. So there's no need to put as 1 cyclohexane.